Hello beautiful people. Today we are upgrading the garden and we are not just doing anything. We are making a custom content greenhouse. As you can see I've already started with the platform. This is my first time using platforms and I wanted to make it a stairway kind of zone and then I think I'm gonna make it longer this way as well. So we kind of have like a long L shape greenhouse. I want it to be raised so it feels like a totally different zone. I feel like that's cool. Maybe let's extend it out further this way. Okay, so since it's really long on the ends, I kind of want to do like stairs. So yeah, we're just going to extend this all the way to make like the stairs become the platform of the greenhouse. Can we do like a little stair here too? Is it would like that be cute for symmetry or do I want this all to be greenhouse? Let's do that. That's cute. Okay. So now I'm going to raise the walls. The greenhouse custom content that I'm going to be using is from the Winter Garden Collection by Pierre Sim, and it's absolutely amazing. I literally love everything that Pierre Sim does. They are a French custom content creator. Of course, everything is linked in the description. So let's get into it. Like, there's so many cool pieces. I am just so excited. So actually. We're not going to start with the stuff, we're going to start with the walls and doors and sorts of things. So let's filter by custom content. Okay, oh my god. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so here's all the doors. I feel like we have to start with a door, like, the greenhouse needs a door. Okay, obviously can't do the biggest one because I don't know how to make a large wall. Um, lol. But you know, the medium is cute. Okay, that's wall, door number one. Ooh. Door number two, do we like the two panel or the one panel? The two panel is cute. Or a closed door. Oh, okay. I'm feeling the one panel. It feels light. It feels airy. It feels open. It feels fresh. So now let's see. Let me scroll in. Let's see all these beautiful color options. The thing I love about Pierre Sim is across all of their custom content collections, they have matching color schemes. So everything will end up matching so beautifully no matter what you have i have two of their custom contents right now the other one is domain du clos and i'll probably be using some of those accessories and whatnot as well i really like this orange i love the greens like green such a classic greenhouse vibe like obviously it's called a greenhouse but what if we do an orange house like work so now let's get into some windows because yes Let's go to the medium windows. So here are some windows from Jumain Duclos, and these are all of the Winter Garden windows. Oh my gosh, there's so many. They're literally all stunning. Honestly, should I just should I just like lay them all out to see what the vibe is? Like, do I want to do just all one time? Do I want to mix it up? Okay, I'm not really a fan of the, the stripe one. I definitely like these two best, so I'm gonna delete this one. I mean, it's beautiful, it's stunning. I love it, like, don't get me wrong. I just, for this vibe, I want more open, airy greenhouse vibes. This one right here on the end, the fully open, that gives me, like, total modern house. Like, you could use this collection in so many different types of homes. Ah, there's so many good options. <laughs> I don't know which one I like the best, you guys. Okay. Okay, so first off, we obviously need smaller ones for right here. So let's see if that will fit. Oh my god, it does. Yes. Do I want totally open? I'm feeling totally open. I think I need to go ahead and get some paint up here because, oh my god, we gotta do brick. Yes. What if we do green brick since it's a greenhouse and then red accessories like kind of giving Christmas though Ooh, I like the black though Ooh, what about the dark brown oh that's nice oh my god they're all nice they're all gonna be so nice like everyone oh they all look good together the dilemma of 
everything being fashionable. So I'm gonna go with black. I love the sleek vibes. It's giving me like loft in New York vibes. And if you don't know what I'm doing with this command, I'm pressing shift to go all the way across the walls. Just in case anyone has not seen that before, that's what I was doing. Okay, I feel like this needs to be special. Like since it's just all open, like I want that to be on the back, like right when you walk in. So it creates that that like tunnel effect, like you really are outside. That looks so freaking nice. These I'm thinking for most of the area that could be cool to frame that one there and we're gonna should we maybe use this one over here this one's kind of cute actually no no we're getting her out of here so i'm just gonna repeat these all the way down greenhouse has got to have all the windows all the vibes even though i like this color i kind of want to see like what the similar ish colors are what is what is that Oh, you guys, what if I what if I just go through and made it all just a light, slightly darker one? I think I will. Give me a second. It's the vibe. It's it's the vibe, okay? Let's just repeat this, I guess. And copy here. So let's see how big of a space. Oh, we need a door for this side. Yes. Do we want to do the same door? Do we want to do a different one? This is from Dumaine Duclos, this door. But it's just so beautiful, and the colors still match. It's pretty. But I also kind of want to keep it in the same greenhouse family. That looks nice. I love that. So then we'll have the closed doors on this side. And then over here, we have the open doors. Now we're going to copy these. And just slot them in, baby. Just slot it in. What if we did this, kind of repeat this little pattern over here? Hopefully it's exactly enough tiles as I want it to be. Oh my god, perfect. Yes. Now we get to add a glass roof. Ooh. I'm not very experienced with roofs when it comes to The Sims, so pray for me. This roof shape is cute. So now we're going to extend it this way. Oh, no, no. Wrong, wrong extend. Um, is it this button? Yes. Okay, that extendy button thingy. Cool. I'm like so cautious doing this. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not experienced with roofs. This is kind of my first. Oh, I don't want that. Okay. Work with me here. How am I going to do this? And how are they going to connect and vibe and thrive together? Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Hopefully they match up and look cute. Nope, they don't. Maybe I can push this back and then do something like this is... I don't know. <laughs> this video was so going so well until now and, you know... Um... Should we just scrap it all? I think we should. Let's try something new. This looks like colossal. How do they do these little intersecty things? And it looks nice. Like, bro. We're just gonna go with this roof style because it's the one The Sims wants me to do, okay? Uh, you can probably feel it in my voice. Like, I just am feeling a little discouraged with this roof. But it's looking all right. This looks cool. This looks all right. Okay. This looks, this looks all right. I'm pleased. Let's continue. Brick wallpaper from Jumaine Duclos. This looks okay. This looks nice. Okay. okay. Let's go filter by custom content. And we're going to use some glass. This is, I'm literally, this is one of the parts I was most excited about with doing a greenhouse is putting in a glass roof. I mean, need I say more? That's so exciting. Let's look at the all glass one. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. <laughs> okay, I want to see with more lines. Let's see how the more lines looks. Oh, that looks very suave. Oh, or half lines. Okay, what are the differences? I, I genuinely am not seeing much difference. Okay, thin, thin, even lines. Thick and then thin. Looks so similar. Oh, just thick. Okay, cute. I like the thin ones, I think. Ah, it's so cute. Are you living? 
I'm living. So we have the basis of the greenhouse all done. I am in love. Ugh, why does it do that bobble thingy? Okay, I love this so much. Now we get to do the fun part of decorating it. Ah, down one floor and we're gonna do partial walls. Now we're gonna do the flooring. So what kind of flooring is in a greenhouse? Probably tile, I would assume. I have some custom content tiles from the Winter Garden custom content. I didn't even know. This came with tiles. I literally went through this custom content pack earlier and I didn't even see this until now. OMG. We have to zoom in. Oh my god. This is such vibes. Like, I'm getting emotional. Can you even? I love the moodiness of the dark ones. OMG. Oh my god. It's like happy kitchen vibes. <gasps> this one is what am I saying? They're all so cute. This is overwhelming. Genuinely. Okay, I love the one that I have right now. So it's between that one or this dark one. Because it matches the dark on the outside. Also, I just really like this one. I think I might just leave it with this one. <gasps> you guys, I just had an idea. And then do dark ones like at the entrance. So it's like a moment. Like a little accent wall but for your entrance, I am screaming on the inside. I love this so much. I'm going to take my Sims current plants and bring them inside. That's good right there. They're just beautiful. I could literally stare at them all day. This is stunning. Like somebody made that wow okay i love this little just tiny little walkway hopefully my sims can get through there and actually plant it up if not i'll be having to extend some walls i suppose get into some decor i'm probably going to add more planters but i definitely want to add some cute little decor items and one of my favorite things that comes with the winter garden custom content pack are these potted olive trees y'all they are stunning look at that look at that you are instantly transported to greece to rome it's just like whoa i like the blue a lot because i don't have any blue elsewhere in this greenhouse space the purple <gasps> oh my gosh this light green all the different shades like they don't do just one green they do like five greens and a green blue and like oh i think i kind of want to go with the purple it just gives like a moodiness i love mirroring plants on entryways that is just a vibe i do wish you could see the doorknobs with them there though should i put it kind of more towards the inside or maybe like on the edge i'm just barely hanging off that that's a vibe so how I'm doing this is I'm holding Alt, and you have to have the BB dot move objects cheat on. That looks so good. And then we get to have more tile. I have to do a different tile, so it's like three layers of tile. Oh, this is this is next level. This is design. This is why custom content is the best. Okay, so we have purple, we have green. I kind of want to do like a blue. Blue and cream. How does that look? It's so pretty. I kind of want to do something dark. Oh, oh my god, I love that one. Oh, that one's pretty. Or maybe the medium blue. Oh, I like them both. I like them all so much. Literally do this all day. Just swatch. I think I'm going to do the medium blue. Yeah. I think I want to do some sort of like little seating area in this back corner and have a hanging plant because there are hanging plants in this custom content so get excited also should we do a little dining do we need to do like a little dining moment do we need to do like a seating moment because because this custom content comes with pillows and blankets for these couches i feel like i want to do the seating maybe like right outside maybe like well, 
Oh yeah, I already have a little seating area. I'll just replace it. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna just leave that there to remind myself to do that. Let's get into everything. Comfort. Oh my gosh. And there's these Papa San chairs. Y'all, I was looking at these last night before filming this, and these Papa San chairs blow my mind. Look at this. Just just look at that. Like, whoa. Are you kidding me? And it comes in about 30 million color swatches. <laughs> you think I'm exaggerating, but I'm almost not. Like the way this is perfection the the, the mixy matchy patterns and colors just the pattern alone this floral all the swatches come in different wood tones every like color at the bottom is the wood tone color and then the one at the top is the fabric color i mean it's just this is phenomenal it's everything you would want and a thousand times more it's like i just my whole house is going to be these papa sun chairs in every single swatch like i don't <sighs> I don't know what else it would be from now on. I love this pink one so much. I love them all. Like, it's just, it's overwhelming how much I love it. Okay, so I'm going to rotate this here so we can put maybe like a little plant in the corner so we can kind of put it in between. Perfect. And then I want an armchair. So definitely keeping the pink on that one. So I want it to match these coral walls pink vibes they're all so pretty i love the white too the white is so crisp or the yellow the yellow is nice oh i think i'm gonna keep that pale yellow that is pretty let's get into the blankets and pillows i am so excited for y'all to see these they are so cute where are they winter garden pillow here is the first pillow Here's the pom-pom pillow, which also has so many like patterns, but this one has tassels, and the tassels can be different colors in the pillow, and you can put this one at an angle. Look how cute it is! We have blankets. Work. I guess the pillow and the blanket don't stack. I feel like we definitely need some plants decor. A coffee table for sure and some candles winter garden comes with these stunning candles that look great sized up as well beautiful oh yeah it comes with this cute little table i think i have one in my inventory actually yes look how cute that is like are you kidding me and of course it comes in every color you could possibly imagine i think i may do the purple that is pretty. And then you can place your candles on it and voila, it is so cute. And then you can use alt and bring it close to the chair. There we go. And I am in love. So I think I want this to sort of angle. Use a Sims 3 camera, press alt, hold the left click on your mouse and you can go any which way. I'm gonna kind of do like a little bit of it. There we go. Oh, voila! I love it! Okay, now we need a coffee table. Ooh, the wooden coffee table. Yes! Let's look at these swatches. Oh. Do I want it to match the other one? Do I want it to be different? These are just so beautiful. Hopefully my Sims will still be able to fit in there. I'll have to check that out. And also there's this really cute broken column, which could be used for literally so many different types of builds. I love it. I may put one in this corner. A little broken column. So casual. Actually, I may not because that may be kind of interfering the Sims walkway. Save that for another placement. And now let's go to decorations. I am so excited to show y'all one of my favorite features in this entire winter garden pack, the hanging plant. Look at all these color swatches. Look at this. Look at that. Are you kidding me? That is the most stunning thing I've ever seen in my life. Just just the vibes. I can't get over it. Okay, I'm totally replacing this one with the large one. Because I like the way that the large one, like, it just extends so high. And I think that is so cool. So many swatches. I wish the Sims swatch thing was lower because I feel like I, have to, I always have to scroll out so far to see all the CC swatches. Let's do dark brown, light green, and pink. That is so cute. I think I'm gonna change the rope color so it pops more. You can't tell me this is not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. Like, and we're not even done. We're not even done decorating. Like, this perspective, just imagine your sim just like reading a book with this hanging plant, with their plants. 
growing beautifully. This is another item from the Winter Garden collection. Like, this is what I love about Pierre Sims content is the plants. They are next level. This one is from Jumaine Duclos. Look at this. Look at this. These peonies. They're so they're so stunning. They're just stunning. I'm just gonna copy this hanging plant and put it back there. Oh my god, it doesn't fit either. Sims, why you gotta do me like this? I just wanna have a cute aesthetic moment in the corner. Let's try a medium. Will the medium fit? It's a <laughs> Yes! Success! Okay, beautiful. This is exactly the aesthetic I wanted. Now I have to zoom out to space to see all of the swatches. And this guy in the corner just, just staring at the pond. Mood. Let's go with whatever this one looks like. I really can't see because we're so far zoomed out. That looks like it's nice. It looks like it's nice. We gotta have some candles. This is also all of Pierre Sims plants, either from Winter Garden or Dumaine Duclos. I mean, need I say anything more about how stunning and amazing and fabulous all of these are? Like, they're just, they're outstanding. Let's see if this little side table will fit over here. Will the Sims let me fit it there? Wait, I thought I saw green for a second. <gasps> yeah! So I'm going to move this beautiful plant, since it's so big, onto this table. Look how pretty that overhangs into the chair. Like... Oh my gosh, this is such aesthetic vibes. I had no idea that I was going to be this in love with this build. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're not even done, but I'm just excited, y'all. So I'm just playing around with placement. I'm going to play around with colors in a second. I kind of want to make this one a little smaller. I might make this one a little smaller. Yes. That's cute too. I'm liking the small plants for this table. I'm gonna change this one to maybe purple. I love this one is blue. I love all these pot colors. Let's do this like creamy color to match the couch. And let's do the same for this one. Oh yeah, this is from the Dumain du Clos set. These two candles. I absolutely love them. They're just so cool. Like they know they are the moment. And size it down tiny little candle i'm just a tiny candle we'll put one back here oh yeah vibes vibes on vibes on vibes and then let's change the color because why not because we can i like this gold it gives like regal antique vibes gray for this one and the wood i love the wood on this one let's do purple to match the purple uh, wood on these little stools. Okay, this is coming together so nicely. I really hope my sims can get around because it's pretty small, but it's so worth it. It's so cute. Eek! Let's see if I can move the Papa Sun back just a little bit. Come on, y'all. Let me move it back. Just let me move it back, sims. Ooh, just let me do it. I think I may put maybe some more planters over here. Let's see. Oh yeah, lights. That was I was going to put some lights on the wall. So these are from the Dumaine du Clos ceiling lights and wall lights. I feel like these wall ones, they definitely go with the like industrial greenhouse vibe and then these just feel like cute little Cute little lights, you know, so maybe I'll use like a combination, like put the cute little ones in the seating area. And of course, there's a thousand colors. I love the pink. Let's do the pink to match the aesthetic of the blankets and everything. So I think I'm just going to use these lights all around. Ooh, yeah, that looks so cool. Let's go with it. I like this pink with the orangey red. I think that looks so nice together with the green floors. Like, this is just so nice. I need to hang some more plants as well. Gotta have some on the entry. Okay, wait, actually, I don't really like all these on the sides. I feel like they're distracting. So I'm just gonna get rid of those. Just keep them by the entry and in the seating area. Yeah. 
I'm going to just do one hanging from the sky. Wait, what kind of pink is it? There's literally so many types of pink. Okay, the darkest pink. And we'll just do one from the sky in front of this door since there's no place for a wall light there. I love it. I love it. Okay. This is so cute. Really coming together. I definitely want to add some more hanging plants and another planter and then maybe we're done. What is the garden pot? That's cute. I guess I could do some garden pots over here instead of the whole big planter. Yeah, I may have to because this will totally block the walkway. Let's just do the classic terracotta. It matches the walls, I mean the windows, so well. And there you go. Voila. Hopefully my sim can walk through here. Okay, let's do a test really quick before adding more decor like hanging plants and stuff if my sim will be able to walk through here. So I'm going to get you to stop reading and go here. <laughs> putting up his book like a responsible human. And now, the final test. Will they be able to walk in this greenhouse space? Okay, they can enter. That is great. Off to a great start. Ooh, sigh of relief, yes. Okay, let's turn on all the lights. Turn on all lights. That was so lackluster. Why are the lights not on? <laughs> Turn on all lights. Uh, Sims? Okay, well, let's see if they can sit. Yes. Okay, success. Can they sit in this chair with the pillow? Yes! Oh! <laughs> The pillow kind of goes through their body, but that's okay. And how can they sit here? Can I sit here? Yay! What about tending the plants? Is that possible? I love the way he's sitting. He's like, yeah, we're just, we're just vibing, you know. Yay! Okay, so the greenhouse works! Ah! I'm so excited. Okay. That is a huge relief. Now... I'm going to add a few more hanging plants and then I might also redo the flooring out around here but I feel like we're getting to a good spot for the video to stop so I will probably oh yeah now the lights are on cute oh yay the lights came on this is so cute ah I just love it. Okay, let's do afternoon light. I want to have some hanging plants right when you walk in to the entree, the entree, if you will. Well, that would feel kind of crowded. Let's put them by this entryway. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is cute. Oh, the lights are right there. I forgot about that. Okay, let's move it over a little bit so that... The lights have their own moment. Perfect. Perfection. All right, y'all. Let's look at it all together with the roof. This is so cool. Okay, so that is all for my greenhouse custom content. All of the custom content packs that I used are linked in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this video, got you some inspiration, and maybe... Whoa. Whoa. I just went underground. <laughs> and I just love doing custom content videos. They make me happy. I think next time I will be sprucing up this kind of brick area out here and also I'll be doing a video soon on to show y'all how I do my landscaping to make it look so lush and colorful and diverse. So stay tuned for more Sims videos and I'm very new at this. Obviously, this is my very first Sims video, so if you want more of this type of content, let me know, or wait, if you want any more, I don't know. I don't know how to be a YouTuber yet, you guys. I'm figuring it out, and if you want to come on this ride with me, and we can figure it out together, I guess. <laughs> oh, my Sim is walking through the garden. And on that note, uh... <laughs> 
I hope you all have a fabulous day. Au revoir.